get a better connection for everybody viewing. So bear with us, guys, as we try to make that uh, functional. Um, okay, what was this topic we were discussing now? Uh, the reboots. Which, by the uh, way, speaking of reboots, they have recently really or released, finally released, the 1984 Ghostbusters score. Not the soundtrack. The score. That has been finally released... For some unknown reason, it wasn't released 30 years ago? 40 years? 35 years ago? Yeah, 35 years ago. Yeah, and I don't know if the stream's working well or not. Long, long time ago. In a galaxy. Uh -huh. Okay. God, I used to have that. The score? Or the soundtrack? Yeah. I'm not talking about the no, one. I still have the soundtrack. Okay. Yeah, this is the actual. Where did I get um, and, and somebody actually posted it to me last week on stream. So, any thoughts on this? Oh, yeah. Two reboots on Star Wars? Well, they're not reboots. They would be new trilogies. New trilogies. So, is there any real to this? Are these confirmed? Mm -hmm. Um, supposedly Knights of the Old Republic has been confirmed as being in development. Now, like, I don't work for Disney, so I don't know. Like, we have a <laughs> director and cast being set, or, like, they're just thinking about doing this and they're looking at it? There was supposed to be a director. It was announced by Kathleen Kennedy. Um, I can't remember who she said was supposedly director. Can it be Ryan director. Johnson so everybody can shut the fuck up? Because <laughs> I like his work, and Ed, obviously you like his work because you enjoyed the second of the current trilogy most, and that was Ryan. Um, yeah. But like I, I said... And as for the High Republic with a young Yoda, like all the Star Wars movies, here's what I'll say. I'll wait. I'll watch. I'll see. It'll happen when it mm. happens, and I'll watch it when it comes out. And then I'll decide. But I will again, once again, reiterate it. Quit backtracking. Quit giving me things that happened then. Move forward with your storyline. Feel like it's... okay. So Knights of the Old Republic is supposed to be the creators of Game of Thrones, David, whoever, and DB Weiss. Okay. Wow. And if they do as well as they did on Game of Thrones, so, yeah. yeah. What are they gonna have? Titties and sex? Yeah. Ah. I'm not saying that bad. Here's what I will say, though, is uh, quit making movies for children when your audience are adults. I can point at the prequels for this. Your audience... Trying to make maximum dollars. You know what? Adults have the money. Children do not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you can get adults and children... Yeah, whatever. Adult, you know what? I went and saw a sausage party, and somebody had a three-year-old in there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. We were so torn between amused and Three horrified. Three. <laughs> sausage. Um. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, at, at Old Republic, I play the video game. I enjoy the video game. I'm, I'm happy to hear that there may be a movie based on this, which is theoretically 3,000 years before the Skywalker saga. Yeah, like As for Yoda, considering he was 970-whatever, 990-whatever, when he died, and he became a Jedi Master at 75 years old, whereas the new baby Yoda is 50 Okay, I, I'm happy to see something seven, eight hundred years before A New Hope. I, but uh, I'll wait and see. Give me new characters. Give me a new plot line. 
and give me something where I can't automatically know what the outcome will be. Which may have been Elizabeth's somewhat uh, reservations on Rogue One. You know where it's going. Although that uh, Darth Vader scene, I mean, that's just Where he was like a real fucking prick. (laughs) Help me, help me, help me. No, you're scared. (laughs) Yeah. Beautiful. Ed, what else you got for this week in history, my friend? Uh, in my uh, Star Trek Four, which again, uh, yeah. oh, Gary, how are you? Hey, you missed the hype train, my friend, but here's to you. Thank you for the bits. Uh, Star Trek Four may not actually be Star Trek Four, which I think I reported here several months ago. They were making Star Trek Four with trying to get together the original cast. Well, apparently, they're not trying to get together the original cast. And guess what they want to do? Reboot? Bingo. Okay, will they please call me so I can coach them on rehashing old territory? Stop it. <laughs> you know, grab... I nothing on the storyline. don't know where they plan to go. With Here's them. what I'll tell you. Yeah. You go grab the cast of DS9 and Voyager and take it ten years 20 years further. Would we'll love to see that. Yeah. We'll love to see that. Yeah. Um, Gary, you were working this fucking late. Hopefully big money, dude. Um, you totally missed the, the swearing content. You'll have to check that out later, because yeah, we do. Um, and now we're in this week in history hour, which we've decided to just make it an hour, because we enjoy that shit. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> stop rebooting... Kind of like the new Ghostbusters coming out. Oh, 30 years later. Cool. Good. Well done. And as much as I enjoyed the reboot, though I do fall asleep <laughs> in the last 45 minutes, because <laughs> I agree with Elizabeth on that, once you get to the big battle, you're like, oh, oh, what? Uh, uh, I, I just... I find it common in, in many films now. You know, it's a miracle any of them get made. It's a miracle. So God bless this mm-hmm. industry. But so long, you have to sit through an hour, an hour and a half of just exposition or not even like non-committed story to finally get to something really cool. I don't mind lots of action. I love it. I live for it. I love it. But stop with story that's not if it connects you know, to your characters binding yeah action yeah. scenes should relate to your characters and further your characters otherwise what's mm-hmm. the point of the action other than i'm eating popcorn and watching explosions michael bay okay. i just see his it's like a quote <laughs> Big make explosion. my drinking worth the calories okay <laughs> <laughs> She says that on every date, too. <laughs> I went, I, on a side note, when I went and saw Star Wars last Tuesday, I ordered, you know, I don't usually order food. I usually sneak it in, but I thought, I'm going to spoil myself, get a soda. So I said, oh, I'll take a large soda. The large soda was this big. It was, I mean, it was enormous. It was and you get a free it, refill. It was like a foot long. And then when he, I said, well, I'll take a small popcorn, because then he brought it over, and I thought, oh, God, oh, my God. And, and then I didn't want him to pour it out. You know, you get pressure at the, at the counter. And he ordered me, I ordered a small popcorn, plus a ticket. It was going to be $24. Hmm. <laughs> I just said, I'll take the soda. And it was enough. Hmm. I added my whiskey. It was very good. <laughs> what kind of whiskey, Elizabeth? It was enormous. Hmm. Oh. What kind of? You know my little Bushmills. Okay, Bushmills is but good. But I brought it in in that uh, uh, my Batman, my Batman plastic uh, pouch you gave me. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> my little Batman plastic. That you have to fill with a fucking funnel because it because you can't pour that shit in there. <laughs> and then you're always like, I'm gonna spill a good. quarter ounce and be very disappointed when it overflows. Oh, it was. The soda was so big, I had to go to the bathroom twice. It was so big. So I'm curious what parts you missed when you went to the bathroom. I missed the scene with the, 
the go the tie fighters going to the ice planet. I didn't see that. That was in the trailer. Okay. And the, it doesn't matter. It, mm. In the new Star Wars movies, it doesn't matter. You know when you go. It's. <laughs> <laughs> what we all need the most pressing question about this large soda is could you have fitted it in a sock <laughs> a thigh high extra large sock yes oh yeah, yeah. but I, 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 I would need a sock garter to keep it up because it was like an enormous cankle <laughs> my friends obviously got bored of the show decided to try and eat me instead I feel like I should go check Amy. Considering Amy said she was taking more sock pictures, I feel like I need to go check her Instagram again and see if there's any new sock oh, pictures. It's a good point. Up. It's a good point. I know. Let's all quick check our phones. Let's all do it. Let's all do it at once. Let's crash the internet. Everyone, come on. Sh- quick. <laughs> Ed doesn't have an Instagram, so no. Nope. I, I don't think so. It's all right. We'll look for him. Okay, Andrea's headed home. So I, s- I tried to type yay, it came out as yeast, so I sent that, because that's an amusing um, wrong typey thing. And let's see here. Inst- yeast. Yeast. Can't, can't have beer without it. True story. Uh, oh, well. No, uh, still just the three. Just the three. Wow. All right, she'll get there. I thought she fell asleep. She was still with us at the turn of the hour. She may be asleep now. Yeah, well, considering it's you know two a.m. there at this point, so yeah, it's it's reasonable. There's Andrea's headlights now. Okay, we're gonna act like we don't see her, so she can come in quietly and not talk to us if she's in a bad mood or had a rough day. I never did get to tell the Ed any more this week in history before I. Mention this. We are done. Wow. Um, so I, I did mention the, the two events of the day, which is either I have a bloody eyeball or my cat shit on me. Oh. Take a vote. You guys so deftly avoided both the topics. Um, <laughs> Not deftly. I actually went behind door number three. Yeah, yeah, which is avoiding both topics. (laughs) And it sounded very exciting. Door number three? There was no door number three. How is that very exciting? That's not what you said earlier. Was it the masturbation before writing? I don't know what door number... (laughs) I don't don't know if I want to detail that. It's pretty common, you know, 20 minutes of searching for the right video and then three minutes of, oh, time to wash up. <laughs> Anyhow. Kimmy. Fred Kimmy. looks so happy. How old is Fred now? 500. <laughs> Andrea says 500. And there's Noodle. International Cats Unite. <laughs> I have a giraffe and a z- zassel right there. I saw there. that RZ, brother. <laughs> Paw-a-darity. Oh, what is he eating? A little treat. Oh. He likes to, I like to bribe his, his behavior. Is it liver or fish? <laughs> it's the heart of his victims. <laughs> it's fish livers. Do fish have livers? Are they heavy drinkers? Yeah. Yeah. Like water. There she is. She got a box. Yes, she does. This is what I got mm-hmm. for being there for five years. Oh boy, Andrew got a reward for working at Lowe's for five years. Guess what? It's a pen. The and a pen's bo- old. I get that. <laughs> the box is fancier than the items within. Yeah. That is a fancy ass box. I know, right? So, so she. That's what I get for being there for five years. I get a pen. Which is great, because I lose pens. With a magnetic seal on the box. Yeah, I like the box. The box is pretty fucking cool. It makes you wonder if you could pull that insert out and put hey, something hey, else. Hey. Give me that. It's my box. <laughs> she gets so upset when I play with her box. And uh, the question of the night is... I'm doing it right. <laughs> are you wearing socks? <laughs> Am I wearing socks? 
So, socks sexy or not sexy? Well, depends on, well, there is the sock loop or the sock gap. There is. We have, we have discussed the sock gap. <laughs> well, if there were, if you have sock garters, then yes. If not, uh, no, because that's weird. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Here's what? what I'll tell the gentleman. What? Try some fucking sock garters. Fuck yeah. Worse comes worse, it ain't going to be any worse. <laughs> no, it, it's classier. Yeah. That and by one. the way, here's something else I'll tell you. Sandals with socks, if you have sock garters, it is now ironic instead of just weird. <laughs> Don't wear the sandals with the thing for the toe. <laughs> That's funny. Or wear it. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to tell you what to do. As a man whose own father has long paired white sports socks with leather sandals, I can confirm it's a shitty look. Did you say long haired socks? Long pair. Oh, long pair. No. <laughs> a long pair of white no, socks. No, he said long hair socks, you know. Yeah. That's his leg. It's like alpaca socks. Shag socks. That'd be sweet, <laughs> man. <laughs> They're very 70s, but they're very retro now. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh oh, Ed, Ed, did we wake you up? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. So, what about socks with the toes in them? Oh, no. Better or worse? Uh, sorry. He says no. <laughs> yeah. what they're about? uncomfortable. Oh, no, they're not. For a while, for my little narrow feet, there. There's not enough room, but I'll, I'll give them a try. They're fun. I can't wear them. Awesome, man. They're discriminating. Are they sexy? I don't care. <laughs> I don't think I shit. explained my stance on that before. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in a drawer? No. Sitting on a naked bed? Yes. <laughs> Elizabeth did clarify. She doesn't care. As long as there's a man in the socks, she's okay. <laughs> All right. Not judging by the socks, judging right. by the man. What was the audience say? Very little. Oh. Just Gary. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it's Gary and us. We did do a hype train tonight, though, and people got emotes from it. Nice. We almost hit level two, but I kind of went, okay, hey, Jewel popped in. Hi. Devnall is still hanging out with us. Some other people who I don't recognize their names. But let me call them out anyway. Megaxa might be a bot. We don't know. Mm -hmm. And Musket55 may be a bot. We don't know. But they're new to the tavern. I don't <laughs> recognize their names. A vivid Puppet is actually... Kevin's friend, who he went out, had a few beers with tonight, who has been wearing socks in a very non-sexy way on purpose. There's one on her head, one on her tail, in a onesie as a dragon, or a dinosaur, or something. I followed her on Instagram. That's cool. Yeah, three pictures so far. Hmm. Apparently she had somebody who disagreed, say, that taking a picture in just socks is horribly suggestive. And shouldn't be Not that. just socks. Oh. Let, let, let's be plain about that. She was wearing other clothing as well, but she had a pair of thigh-high socks on and she had a thigh gap showing between the top of her sock and, and the jumper she was wearing. And she was told oh. the picture was overtly sexual. Oh, then they could shut the fuck up. By an ex. They could so, shut the fuck up. So, yeah, so, <laughs> so she's now started an Instagram account where her aim is to prove how unsexy wearing socks can be. <laughs> so those of you who missed it at the top of the show, that is the key to success, all one word, on Instagram. All right, that's it. Okay. Yeah, uh, Andrew's looking it up right now. I think the big, the big thing for me is, once again, and this was a conversation which occurred before we went on the air, as long as the socks are clean, mm. it can be fun. If they're really filthy, tattered socks, that can be unsexy, you know. 
She. So wait a minute. What is it? Can you oh, once subtract, again, subtract? I'm not sure. I'd kick a man. Yes. I'm gonna, I wouldn't kick a man out of my bed for him. <laughs> well, Can you with go wash his socks for him first. <laughs> oh. I'm not seeing it. She's Don't just take a shower. trying to get him out of all three socks. That's Andrea, all. What were you saying? I'm not seeing it. Spell it. K E Y. Two. Number two. It's, it's no, the key. Keel. Remember the word the. Oh, the key. T H E K E Y. T O M O U S E Success. S O C K S O C K C E W S. That's why I was. No. no. It's a private account. Fuck. Seriously? Yeah. Well, but okay. I asked permission to follow it. I feel like. I can't even find it. Well. So, oh well. Sound entertaining. Kevin will post a link. Hmm. Again. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Hold on. Down. That? Lower. Can you, is that focusing? Nope. Bring it closer to your Ooh. camera so it doesn't focus on your forehead. Is that uh, Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Can't Instagram. Hey, Jewel. All lowercase. You're following it. All I'll go to your Instagram words. and then find it, okay? Yeah, and it's a private account. I ask yeah, permission yeah, you, to follow. Yeah, you already follow me. Yeah, if you look through post the yeah, ones I follow, you'll find Ooh. the profile picture is a knee in a grey sock. There we go. Jewel, good to see you. Hopefully you and Jamin are doing well hey, Jewel. this evening. It's, uh, we have 20 minutes of, of banter and bullshit to go through. So, uh, so yeah. how's your time, Fred? I just posted something in the VIP group on um, Facebook. Found it. And I guess I can post it. Put it into Discord? <laughs> Regarding socks and other things in men's fashion. <laughs> well, that's right. And I guess I could post it in the chat too. You can put it in Discord if you want. <laughs> hey, I like those socks. That's <laughs> there. When I saw it, the first thing I thought was, well, I guess a shag sock is close to being real. <laughs> oh my god. Is that like the cum sock? What? Jewel, encourage Jamin to post all the stuff he puts in VIP on the Discord channel. That'd be helpful. Okay, let's see, let's see. Eatliver.com What kind of oh fucking website Oh my god, look at him. Find? He's so cute. Look at Fred. God damn it, he's so cute. <laughs> uh, no. Oh my. <laughs> what is that? No. No. What the fuck is that? What no. is that? Is that guys? Is that Fuck Guy Rompers? No. Hell no. <laughs> yes, right there. That's so sassy. The fuck with the face jewelry. No. No, it's one of those things the dentist puts in your mouth when you're doing it work. So. With jewelry attached. That's. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, the clown. No. That's fabulous. The guy with the lips. The clown guy. What is stuck to his leg? <laughs> Oh, that's that's hot. Right that there. reminds me of the cat with the lime on his head. <laughs> he did not shave his legs for that one. I do like the socks though. What the? I like how all of them look miserable. <laughs> well, look what they're wearing. Oh. I don't know. If there's any my. other way to look in some of these outfits. Where's the person? The fuck? What? Ah. Oh, he's got another mouth thing in. He's like the mini mouse club. Yeah, that looks itchy. There's some furry leggings. What the fuck are we looking at? Elizabeth stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and why? We don't know. Elizabeth, quit googling stuff. Is that a safety pin tattooed on his chest? Oh God, that is Keep a potato going. sack. Keep oh. going, she said. The very okay. last one is the best. All right. is, is I kind of like that. One. Is he on heroin? Just look at his eye. No, uh, that's what's it. I really kind of like that. That Queen know. Elizabeth and dress. I like that dress. What? <laughs> is that a purse hat? What the hell is that? <laughs> okay. He that's don't funny. need a hand with that <laughs> outfit. <laughs> is that John Cena? No, John oh, Cena stands up straight. Guy. That's true. Uh, is that just tapes on his nips? Well, at least his and nipples are covered. Uh, no. No, You're no. Welcome. It's like legs and a head right there. Yeah, just... Gonna love it. Okay, I like that jacket. Okay, that's like the blue boy. 
the oh, famous like painting in, in boxers. <laughs> what the what the hell? Is this like is on Winkle? <laughs> unsexymen.com? Okay, the shirt that says "Please kill me" that kind of defines everything I've just seen. That one, yeah, I could get behind that one. That's that's Elizabeth. No. Did you knit that hat? Maybe. <laughs> Stay off the Google, Elizabeth. Okay. That's a no. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. I got a shirt. Mm. Gotta keep everyone informed. <laughs> no. no, thanks. That's almost as. Okay, what did, Well, I don't Ed know what's worse, just... that or the men's rompers. Ed loves his rompers. <laughs> he loves the romper. Ed, did you repost the exact same link, Elizabeth? I wear a romper. What? Yeah. I will wear a romper before wearing any of that shit. Okay. Yeah, but then you'll trip over stuff. <laughs> and long socks. Just one. With or <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> I would need both. Yeah, you would. Do the other parts hang that low now? No. No, he would need to just stitch it together to make it bigger. I know what he's saying. <laughs> Two leg warmers and just the tip, please. <laughs> oh. oh, by the way, the merch link just hit. Scare um, me, is it for that can lovely I, sweater? Can I use that right there? We have new merch out. I got a hoodie, a shirt, a mug, and a mouse pad. And I did buy like the collective set just to see what the merchandise quality is like. Here's what I'll tell you. Shirts are good. Mouse pad is good. Coffee cup is a coffee cup. The hoodie, I recommend order one size up. Because I put it on, it's good, but when you pull the sleeves up, oh my god, they're tight. One size, yeah it is. One so, size uh -huh. up because when you wash it, it'll shrink a little bit. Put it? Here it is. What? I, I was looking for the link. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yay! And other than that, the book I I'm writing. Done. Mm, yeah, Cap? I was going to say, I, I just scrolled down slightly past the article from Eat Liver about the men's first... If you really want some joy tonight, go and read some of the comments section. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little comic sample for you. Uh, this is more like grooming to me. Trying to make young boys think it's normal to dress or acceptable this way. <laughs> I think I have to leave now. I'm trying to pause. I, I was just going to sit here and give Ed expressions to Kevin while he reads comments. <laughs> Someone underneath commented, most of the men look ill. They do. They're, yeah, they Would need a sandwich. Turn that heater up, please. Are you cold? Oh. There you go. Bosh, January the 13th. Uh, the designer is most likely a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Of course. The designer's not very good. Who's going to wear that shit? Those guys? They get paid for it. The romper crew? Gosh. I can, I can actually say this. Those people. <laughs> there you go. Ow. You got a, another clip over here. I thought you were just pulling out all no, the No, I was taking the... Okay. No, my hair is still wet from this morning. Okay. Um, amazing. Wow. Someone says... Someone in the comments section has typed, Guys, can you define normal for me? And the next commenter has posted, No, I can't, but I know abnormal when I see it. Abnormal. Agreed. So I've got no idea what normal is, but I know Anything that's but abnormal. that. You know the latest yeah. meme? I know it when I see it. You know the latest meme with the two women pointing and then the cat with the broccoli? I feel like we can replace <laughs> the cat with the broccoli with any of those pictures. Oh my god. And make new memes. But I like the cat. I like the cat too, but I feel like those two women could be pointing at any one of those guys. You could type anything but the cat and can it judge makes them. It. So maybe just a third picture? Put the guy right in between, and they'll point, and he'll judge. It's okay. You're welcome. It's, uh, I want to know if I'm racially stereotyping here, so I'm yes. experts. Yes. <laughs> because you're white. The answer is yes. It's just, 
I read this. I read this comment, and in my head, I heard me impersonating a Southern American accent. Um, I'll say. I'll say. The first comment is just. The, the first comment is just this: some real bullshit, with some being spelt like the mathematical sum. But it's the way they've spelt bullshit. I'm going to try and hold. I don't know if you can see this or not. See those comments there? Nope. We well, can see them. Freedom. Basically, yeah. bullshit is spelled B U double L S H I E E E E E E E E T T T T T. I just said this real bullshit. That's great. You read it as Ed. I think that's exactly how Ed pronounces that. I now we all know how to spell it. Another good 30, 45 minutes of entertainment in that comment section alone. This is why you never read the comments. That's why you always read the damn comments. That's what the internet was designed for. I can hear people having an argument in the park. What I don't get to hear is the 30 other people in the corner whispering their comments. On the internet, they do it out loud in the comment section where I can read it. That's why you have a microphone like on Talk of the Tavern and you're just like, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> speak speak directly into the microphone. Let us all hear that shit. Um, yeah. You're alive. <laughs> uh, so, we got about 10 minutes left. Oh. Yes, Ed? All right. What about your book? You were saying something about a book. Ten minutes. That's some real bullshit right there. Indeed it is. When's your book coming out? What's your dinner? Are, did you finish it today? No. What the fuck is on my computer? I don't know. Butt prints? Yeah. I'm still trying to get them to pick a topic. Ed will pick the third one, which doesn't exist. Between the cat shit on me and I've got a bloody eyeball. The cat shit on you? Tell me about your bloody balls. No, not not balls. Balls plural. Bloody balls. Just one. Ah. It's the reason I came home from work early today. Mm-hmm. Where did your eye? Ed, Ed, How did you end up with bloody eyeballs? Ed seems so doubtful about this. He's like I suspicious and like dubious. It. Um, it was not a raccoon. I am. <laughs> yes, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, tell us. You've been teasing oh. us for. Well, nobody seems interested, so I just here. keep teasing I'm you. Somebody's interested. What? So, so I, I go to work today, and I get there, and I, I like feel something on my eye, and I wipe at it, and I'm like, wow, am I tearing up? I don't feel like an allergic reaction or a cold or anything, but there's liquid in my eye. And I wiped away and thought nothing of it. And like 10 minutes later, same thing, wiping away, and that's when I realized there's blood all over my hand. Eyeballs falling out. And, and I turn to... Now, I'm working with a different manager today doing the hiring stuff as opposed to the regular stuff where I do returns. But I'm in the back office where my normal manager who does returns is there, and I'm like, is my eye bloody? And he's like, what? And I look at him, he's like, oh, yeah, it is a little bit. And I'm like, the fuck is bleeding on my face? <laughs> and that's when I realized, now... Ten years ago, I worked in the prototyping industry. And when you were fixing up prototypes and sanding them down to make them smooth for, to, to create the actual prototype as opposed to the thing that you mold to make a prototype, you'd have little holes in the thing that was 3D printed before everybody had a fucking 3D printer. And you'd fill it with super glue to fill all those little gaps and holes, and then you'd hit it with an accelerant that super quick dries that super glue in like a matter of a half second as opposed to 20 seconds, 40 seconds, whatever. Now, this created a chemical reaction that sometimes would pop. And there was one time I put a super glue in it, hit it with the accelerant, and it popped, and a glob of super glue came right at my face. And I closed my eye, and it stuck my eyelids together, which I immediately, with my fingers, had to pry them back open. And then, you know, I pulled the super glue off my eyelid and everything and, and moved on with my day. Within a week, a skin tag had developed on my upper eyelid, which now I felt like this horrible, mutated, hunchback, need a tower type person. But I didn't have the, what what did doctors charge to clip a skin tag? Three, four hundred dollars for, hold on, done, go away. I didn't have that money. 
So today, apparently... I've heard of the old... Kev? As I say, I could have answered that one for you. I used to think it was an old wives' tale, but you just tie a piece of cotton tightly around it. Restricts the blood flow to it. It'll either shrink back or fall off all on its own. And his eyes you know, flap and no strain. blood loss. So I want to put a tampon on my eyelid? Yes! Okay, let's yeah. do that. I... <laughs> it was legal anyway. <laughs> well, it wasn't until today, but apparently, you know, like... As I was trying to work, it felt like an eye eyelash was, you know, you, sometimes you got an eyelash you got to pull out. Yes, Elizabeth? You said the eyelid is bleeding, or are you bleeding out your tear duct? Eyelid. Basically, there was an eyelash that felt irritated, and I plucked at it while I'm driving to work, and apparently uh. it was the skin tag on my upper eyelid, and I tore it off on my drive to work. After it uh, been oh, there cool. 10 years. And Ew. it made my eye bleed. Well, you know, my eyelid bleed into my eye. Which, all by itself, context. the actual injury wasn't bad. The burning sensation, because apparently blood in your eye burns. Little did I know before today. <laughs> um, and, and after like being at work for four hours, I'm like, you know what? I want to go. And they're like, okay, we'll make do. We'll make it work. And I'm like, great. I'm going home. Because yeah. it's not, oh, 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 but it's, well, that's really fucking annoying. And, and, uh, and I went home. You, <laughs> yeah. You would have been legendary. You would have been the guy that bleeds, you know, tear, bleeds blood. Or tear, cries blood, <laughs> bleeds blood. Tears. Which is great with that, you know, 120 new employees as you're inducting them into Amazon. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. I, I did tell the other employees that great joke about the first day on the pirate ship where the new guy is like, oh, I, I'm new here. And they're like, ah, yes, and it's a rough life here. Yeah, you see, you see my leg. I have a peg leg. <coughs> and I got this peg leg when we were in a, a battle. And a cannonball just ripped me whole leg off. <coughs> and the other guy's like, wow. And hold on, Kevin. Let me just go ahead and finish this, and then jump in. And then, yeah, yeah. See, the hook hand. That's one day when we were fishing to get some food while we we're out on the high seas, and I reeled in a shark, and the shark just left on board and bit my whole hand off, and I had to get the hook, and that's how I got the hook. And the guy's like, "And the eye patch? Did you get that? Because somebody stabbed you?" And he's like, "No." That was one day when a seagull flew overhead and it shit in my <laughs> eye. And the guy's like, well, is that blind? He's like, no, but it was me first day with the hook. Ah! And I told that joke. <laughs> Kevin, what was your comment? Uh, years ago when I worked in security, one of the things we used to do about once every four or five months was go to one of the big job centres in London in a place called Streatham and induct... 150 maybe 200 people onto the books that we used to use as stewards not fully trained security personnel but for example yeah if it's a big football match you're trained security or operating crowd control so you have stewards to do things like take tickets watch turnstiles etc so we would go and do these big inductions at this big massive job center in london and it used to be me and another guy and uh, we'd done about seven or eight of these and then he was indisposed by an injury at work the previous night. Now, bear in mind, none of these guys have ever worked in security before. They've come up for a job as stewards, and some of them are a little bit, well, I want to earn some money, but I'm a bit worried about getting beaten up on the job. So one of my first jobs was always to reassure people that the kind of jobs we are hiring you for are not the kind of jobs where you're likely to be in any physical danger. Cue Rob getting injured the night before, and so the boss of the company decides to come along with me. And as the boss, clearly he makes the introduction before handing over to me because I'm used to conducting these talks. And uh, yeah, clear as day in front of 150 nervous looking people, he stood up and he went, well, I was supposed to have two of my boys here today to tell you about how safe it is to work in this industry, but one of them was stabbed in the face last night. So over to you, Kev. <laughs> oh, shit. And that's how we got seven new employees. 
surprisingly low, surprisingly low number of inductions that time. And that's how we're going to wrap up the show, guys. Have a great week. Make sure you join me for I'm writing. I'm, I'm going to be finishing up a book, editing it this week, and starting on a new book by the weekend. So join me for that. Have a great weekend. Ed, Elizabeth, Kevin, you're beautiful. Thank you for coming out, guys. Appreciate that. Next week, the topic is we don't fucking know. So here's the outro. <laughs> Join us at the tavern. Socks to me. That's right. Sock it to me. Now, raise your glass in good cheer. Socky, fucky, five dollars, Joe. Careful, Travis. Stay clear of unprotected socks. (laughs) Don't worry, I wear garters. Bitches. Bitches love garters. Did we say socks to be you? He already said that. Yeah. Say that already. Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah. Sock wars. Out of here. <laughs> That's right.